All right, let's take a peek at a challenge here that involves inheritance, a drag me object that's already been coded to drag and drop, and this gold and coin object that already has a little behavior. So just to see what we're dealing with here, let's just do a little preview. And what you get is we have this apple that I can left click. And once it's left click, it's in a state where it's being dragged. And if I left click again, it lets go of it, right? Perfect. Oops, that guy shouldn't be there, but that's fine. So that's my drag and drop behavior. Now what I want to do is I want to apply it to these objects. I want the gold and the coin also to be able to be drag and dropped. Maybe you have to drag them, click them into your uh, bucket or your inventory list or something like that. The problem is, is this object uses a little bit of code inside of, well, let's go check where it uses code already, because that's important. So there's my drag me. Don't confuse it with the apple here. So there's my drag me object. And you'll see I've used create. And I've got my variable. I've used step, where I have some code. And I also have left pressed, where I have some code. Now, you don't even have to worry about what code is in there for now, although you should be able to understand how it's working. What's important is that you know that it uses create, step, and left pressed. So that when we create our children objects, that we use the same events or similar events, we have to make sure we're not going to override this code and sort of, you know, drop it, leave it behind. So let's go on to the coin and the gold. So I'm going to go to the gold and I'm going to give it a parent and the parent I'll give it will be drag me. And I'll also go to the coin and give it a parent, make it drag me. And now let's take care of not losing behavior. Because if I do this right now, let's see what happens. Oh, it does not like that. And see, already we've lost some behavior. It's saying here that when I go to the object drag me, it says drag on, drag me, variables basically not known. Now, what's happened here is this. It's actually not the drag me object that's calling the error or sorry, causing there, it's actually the gold of the coin. Because what's happened here is in my drag me object in the create event, what I had was I had drag on in the create event. But my gold coin also has its own create event. So even though it has drag me as a parent, soon as you add that create event there, that code you got from your parent in create is gone. And it means the drag on variable is gone which means when it goes to try to do the step event it got from drag me, which uses the drag variable, it's not going to work. So here's what you do, if you remember from our little uh, instructional videos, is when you want to keep the code from your parent, you just do something like this. You say invent inherited. It jumps up to my parent, which is the drag me. It goes into the same event which is the create event, and it runs the code. So now I'm going to have that variable drag on. Then it comes back, runs the rest of your code. Now alarm, that was not used by drag me, so you don't have to worry. You're not overriding and erasing any code by doing this. So gold should be good. Now let's go to the coin. The coin has a create. Okay, that's not good. So we have to make sure that the coin also runs the invent inherited from its parent. So that way it gets a drag on variable, then does its own code. And the step event, just remember here, the drag me also used the step event, right? There was all this code here. We need that code. So coin, step event, before doing all this counter stuff to make it flash on and off, same thing, event inherited. It'll jump up, run the code from its parent, then continue down and run its little custom code here. And that's sort of how you take care of adding extra behavior uh, when you want to also add extra behavior into the same events in objects. Now when I give this a run, you cross your fingers that this works and... The apple, of course, still works. Never touch that. And now click. And I can click and drag my coins. And they continue also their own behavior that they had before. 
Perfect. And we have our little guy there throwing burgers at us. Anyways, that's the solution to that challenge. So it wasn't that bad. It was really just typing a few lines there, right? Perfect. Hope you understood all that. That's really the basics on inheritance. There's a little more you can dig into, but for most beginners, that's enough to uh, help you out and make your games more efficient.